hey guys so welcome back to my channel today i wanted to make a video about my 2024 financial goals for the new year as well as kind of explain what a high yield savings account is and how it works um i am not a financial advisor this is just all things i have learned over the years and have learned through my own personal research through certain banks so um, I know a lot of people have been asking, like, what exactly a high yield is, how it works. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So, to start off, I want to go through my financial goals, like, as far as the bigger picture. So, for my savings, my personal general savings, there's no um, specific category the savings is for. It's just general savings. Um, I would like to have $16,000 saved. It sounds like a lot, but um, I already have 14388 which is what I've saved over the past two years um, through my different jobs, through my financial aid, through school. So I need about 2000 more, maybe 1500 1600 more, 1700 more actually to be specific. So um, I decided for each savings goal, I'm going to have three check-ins. So I already completed this check-in um, December 2023, and I currently have $14,388 in my high-yield savings account in where I'm currently getting 4.40% APY. So APY is annual percentage yield. That is what they pay you monthly as far as interest based on the amount you have in your account so they are currently paying me 4.40 percent apy based off of this number this specific number because that is what i currently have in the bank so um yeah that's my savings goal and then my retirement goal is to have five thousand saved by the end of the year and i currently have one thousand seven hundred and thirty seven and ninety cents again all th these three are getting 4.4 percent apy because these are all high yield savings accounts emergency have eight thousand saved and i currently have two thousand so we're gonna start off with what is a high yield savings account so these three are high yield savings accounts a high yield savings account is high yield so you get a pretty good um APY percentage, um, interest percentage back on the amount of money you have in these accounts. And the good thing about having a high yield savings account is you can pull the money out at whatever time. It's not like a Roth IRA or traditional IRA or 401k where you can't take it out until you're like 50 something. These are kind of more free reign. You can deposit and pull out as much as your bank allows you. And there's no like certain limit age limit you need to be at in order to withdraw so these are meant to be mainly contributions and not withdrawals so with that being said um the apy varies bank to bank and the apy does fluctuate it is not a set amount so if you open these accounts at 4.40 that doesn't mean it's going to stay like this it can drop down to three or it can go up to five when i first opened these accounts i was at five percent apy however again with like the stock market and stuff like that um it does fluctuate so with that being said um it does fluctuate but you can pull the money in and out um as you wish however my property my goal is to have $20,000 saved by the end of the year, and I currently have $6,000. This is not in a high-yield savings account. This is in a certificate of deposit. So what a certificate of deposit is, it's basically like your money is locked away. Once you open this certificate of deposit, you cannot pull it out until your term is completed. So there are different terms. There are six-month terms, there are eight, there are 12-month, there are 24, there are seven-year terms. It just depends on the bank and what you're looking for. Um, and different terms offer different APYs. So in my case, the 12-month term had the highest APY at 5.10 APY. Compared to the six-month one, I think it was like 4.30. And then... A 24 one was like only a 4.60 so um the difference between a high yield and a certificate deposit is one you cannot pull it out whenever you want compared to the high yield a high yield you can just be pulling out and depositing as you wish a certificate of deposit you put the amount you're going to deposit into this account and then you have a 30-day grace period for most banks 
I'm speaking on my bank. Um, so my bank, which is Marcus, they gave me a 30-day grace period where I can deposit more if I wanted to. After that 30-day grace period, your term, whatever it is, so mine is 12 months. So the first month, I was able to deposit more. But after the first month, it's locked in. I can't make any more deposits. I can't withdraw. I can't really do anything. But when it's locked in, it is also locked in at the 5.10 APY. Compared to the high yield savings account, this APY can fluctuate depending on the month, depending on the stock. But when you open a certificate of deposit, your money is locked in, but also the interest rate is locked in. So currently, I only deposited 6000 because that's all I had at the time. Um, that's what I obtained through my savings challenges, so that's what I deposited. Um, I wasn't able to deposit more in the 30-day grace period. However, my 5.10 APY is locked in. So for the next 11 months, or I think it's 10 months now, for the next for the rest of my term i'm going to be receiving 5.10 apy whereas these high yield savings they went from 5 to 4.40 so yeah the reason why i deposited property into a certificate of deposit is because i know i don't have the money to buy a property right now anyways so i'm not planning to buy property until the next three or four years so the long term um, certificate of deposit was just in my best interest compared to emergency like I can't tell if I'm going to have an emergency next week or tomorrow. So I like to have the flexibility of um, being able to... I thought I turned on Do Not Disturb. Um, so these high yield savings, I like having the flexibility of being able to pull it out in case there is an emergency or in case something happens and I need to pull from my savings. However, if it were to be in a certificate of deposit, I wouldn't have the freedom to just pull it out whenever I want because then... Um, I think you can, but there's like a big penalty fee. And yeah, so I definitely recommend if you want to open a certificate certificate of deposit, it is for something that you know you're not going to pull out. For example, um, let's say you have children and um, you want to open a college fund for them. A certi certificate of deposit would be great if you started off when they're young. So because um, you know you're not going to pull that out until they're 18 so that would be a good example property would be a good example um yeah there's a lot of things that are better categorized for certificate of deposits compared to emergency which would be better for a high yield savings account that gives you that flexibility of pulling in and out so the reason i had my phone right here is because i was going to show you guys that you can um actually there's an apy calculator so let me just look it up real quick okay so i pulled out this oh look that's my bank i pulled out this um apy calculator on the calculator site.com there's a bunch of different sites that have a calculator like this so basically i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna gain as far as interest for my certificate of deposit so for my certificate of deposit for property i put an initial balance of 16 six thousand my interest rate is going to be at five point one zero percent and then it's going to be in there for 12 months so in 12 months how do i move this okay in 12 months the total um why did it say 5.22 oh apy calculate okay so projection in 12 months my initial balance was six thousand dollars however with the locked in 5.1 apy i'm gonna gain a total of 306 dollars in interest over the term of 12 months so again for everyone it's different but right here mine was 12 months you can also do one for six months if you do if you do it for six months you'll gain $151 in interest just for having that money in there. Just for having it in there. Think of it as kind of, I don't want to say free money because the whole point of certificate of deposits and high yield savings account is that the bank basically puts your money towards stocks. And whatever interest they gain from your money, they give you a cut. That's what an a um, APY interest is. Basically, they, they manage your money in index funds and stocks, whatever. And then the bank gets a certain percent back for doing that work. So they keep half of it and then they give you another percentage because they're the ones doing the work. But you are providing the money. So it's kind of like um, you both benefit. The bank and yourself benefit from depositing and opening a high yield or certificate of deposit so yeah if you do the math or you look up different banks 
there's some banks that have higher percentages or some banks that have lower percentages but as soon as you find a bank that you're comfortable with you can go ahead and pull up this calculator and kind of see like what you're working with and what kind of interest you're going to gain over your term to determine if it's worth it or not. Um, in my case, I did think $300 of interest for my 12 month, um, for my 12 month term was worth it considering I'm not planning to use this money anyways for the next two or three years. So in my brain, it's like, okay, if I'm not going to use it. Might as well have it in a bank where it's, um, accumulating interest but yeah so you can literally look up this calculator anywhere and it'll show up so with that being said these are my financial goals that is the difference between a high yield and a certificate of deposit and then i also wanted to show you guys that in my savings challenges i do have those goals for example retirement um in my financial goal retirement my goal is to have five thousand so i'm gonna do all of this and then once i've completed this savings challenge I'm going to go ahead and deposit that $5,000 into my high yield savings account to start obtaining interest. And then off to the right, I have a little like column for total interest gain just so I can reflect over the year how much of it was what I deposited and how much of it was what I gained in interest just so I can see how much my bank has helped me or how much it didn't help me um, and if you don't notice a good reflection or a big reflection on your interest that's when it should be time for you to maybe invest in other banks look up other banks call other banks and see what they want to offer you so yeah if you guys have any questions leave a comment down below and if I didn't clarify anything I'll either clarify in the comments or I can make another video more in depth this is kind of just an overview um, again because I'm not a financial um, advisor or anything like that so this is kind of what I've obtained and I just wanted to share it with you guys so I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next week